Tell me what I just did, Lambert. The right thing. Hard work, but it had to happen. Shinbet wasn't playing a straight game. Killing unarmed women seems mighty close to terrorism. Shut up, Fisher. Leave the ethics to us. Grunt and sign off. We need to talk. Get the sample as soon as possible. You're in a fifth free freedom situation. All means are acceptable. Okay, so right here you gotta be uh, pretty quick because these guys will notice you no matter what. Oh shoot, that guy hit me. Uh, but there's three guys and no matter what, when you come down here, they will notice you. So, uh, what just happened could have gone a little bit smoother, but that's pretty much what's going to happen, no matter what. <laughs> um, but right here, you don't need to hide the bodies, even if they're in the light, it doesn't matter for this section right here. Um, but yeah, right when you come down the elevator, there's no place to hide, you can't shoot out these lights. Uh, this guy will notice you. This guy is walking out right at the exact moment. They will both start shooting at you. And then they'll alert a third guy that will come running up the stairs and will start to attack you. Uh, plus, you cannot jump over this railing. So there is no possible way to hide. There is no corner you can get to. There is no ledge you can hang from. You have to take these guys out. Uh... But yeah, <laughs> after that, um, yeah, next is where you just need to be sneaky, and this part is tricky. When I was practicing this, I don't know how I did it, but I was able to make it through on my very first attempt. Uh, I got very lucky. I just waited on everybody to have their back towards me, and I moved forward, and it worked. So I have only practiced this specific section right here with these two guys only once. So I guess we'll see I, if I have the same luck. So what I did was I dropped down. That guy... Oh, he didn't notice me. I can't remember if he did or not, but... Um, you can come down under here. Oh shoot, okay, and so they did notice something. Those lights you cannot shoot out, so that is something to be very careful of. Um, and I am going to try to take my chance here. Yeah, I'm going to try to take my chance. There is a guy that's out here. Oh shoot. And he, ah oh, crap, he noticed me. So this is pretty much going exactly as I practiced it. Um, which probably isn't good. I. I know I have a, uh, a... I know there should be a better way of doing this, but I'm not entirely sure of what that should be. And they both have their back towards me, so I'm going to make my move. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Oh, God, and I made it. Holy crap, I made it. That way, um... Uh, there's nothing important that way. What's over there is, um... There's about two guards in that room, plus one guard that patrols that room, as well as the hallway that leads to another room that we'll be going to pretty soon. But there is, there are quite a few goodies over there. There is some ammo. Uh, I can't remember specifically what ammo it is, but there's also um, a frag grenade, a, a frag grenade, a chaff grenade, a flash grenade. Sticky shockers and airfoil rounds. Um, but what we're looking for is in this room right here. Um, so there, like I said, there's two rooms. This area is kind of big with a lot of connecting rooms and it can be a bit confusing. Oh, in that room, there's also a med pack or med kit or whatever. Um, I should probably mention that. But okay, right here we are going back to a uh, normal uh, pattern. And so what I'm going to be waiting on is for a guy that appears out of a hallway right down there. And he'll walk across here all the way right to here. He'll stop and then he'll go back and start repeating the pattern. Go through that door and walk across 
say, buddy. Um, uh, another, like, catwalk area that's over there. But all I need to do is just wait for the guy that appears right here. And he seems to be taking a little while. Um, I'm not entirely sure what his problem is. Um, I hope this isn't something specific to this playthrough because, oh god, that would be so annoying. Which, he's not moving, which really makes me think that I have to reach a certain point, or that maybe it's a specific playthrough that he's moving towards. Um... But there is a guy that appears over along uh, that area over there. But there is some darkness over here. So I'm going to sit right here and just wait and see what what is happening. Okay, so I think this guy only appears once you reach a certain area. Uh, that's really unfortunate, but that looks like what is happening. And this is the guy that I just mentioned that... Uh, kind of walks along the hallways and in between these two rooms and hopefully these guys are kind of moving across so I can make a really good quick movement right here because the ND133 is right in here and I believe this is perfect. Great work, Fisher. Now find out what's in it. I could open it. And you could play Russian roulette with a clip-loading pistol. Where's your sense of humor? We got a CIA analyst waiting with Cohen. Man by the name of Bellagio Sampler. Bellagio Sampler? Here for you asked where my sense of humor was. Updates on your opset. Okay, so that actually went pretty well. If you've played this game before, you were probably interested in seeing how I got past this area. And to be honest, I was actually dreading this because I thought it was going to be incredibly difficult, but I actually kind of made it through not not too difficultly. Now, right here, you want to wait for that guy to reach a certain area so that he can't hear you, but you also need to be quick enough so that you can move forward without him getting back to his original location, which involves him looking down this hallway. Now, there's those two guys down there, and normally, that is their original position, and so uh, you have a perfect opportunity to walk past them and walk past the other guy. You can get in this elevator, and you are past them, and they will not notice you. This went perfectly. Oh my god. <laughs> I am so glad this went well. Um, I had to practice this a few times. It's not very annoying, but I'm just glad that it worked uh, this first time through. Um, yeah, this level really wasn't as difficult as I was expecting it to be, and I am very glad. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> so right here, these three lights, you kind of want to shoot them out. And, uh, I'll get to what I want to talk about in this section right after I finish shooting this. Uh, it's funny... Only during this playthrough have I noticed this bug. Um, these guys do have a certain path. They do move around a certain way. But for some reason, and I don't know why, I've only noticed it now, but they kind of glitch out here. Like this guy, he stays right there. Uh, while I was practicing, he had an animation that he constantly kept doing over and over again. Like he was standing there, but he was like looking to his side and then going back to normal. And then looking to his side and going back to normal. But right now it looks like he's just stuck in that position. Uh, so um, as far as I'm concerned and as I've played it, these guys glitch out. And after they've kind of finished like a short path, they glitch out exactly where they are. So right now, these guys will not move. They will not move at all unless they have a reason to, which means if you make a noise or, you know, do anything 
to distract them and yeah can you guys see that that is not my recording device that is the game itself those uh, black dots um, but yeah those guys right there that is actually not good because they will see you um, you have to go to the right here and if you try to move as you are oh, 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 as you are right now they will notice you so I'm kind of improvising at the moment and uh, if this bug is the same for everybody else which I assume it will be uh, you'll kinda have to improvise yourself so I'm thinking I might just shoot out this light Who did that? hoping to get those guys to move because I need to go to the right and as you can see there's um, a fire right there and that guy right there is the one that saw me. And so he's the one that I'm trying to uh, get rid of. And I don't really have an item to do that with. What's going on? Uh, so I think that was one of these guys that talked. And unfortunately it was not the guy I wanted to move. So I'll shoot this out. Right Please move. There we go. So, um, yeah, what I'm I'm just gonna wait for these guys to kinda move and glitch out. I've kinda lost where the other guy is. But yeah, I was hoping to edit this uh, level better. I was you know, I was hoping to get this into two episodes because that's kind of better for when you're watching it back on YouTube. It's kind of difficult when you're trying to find a specific level and uh, people have it split up into multiple videos. Um, but yeah, this level has kind of been taking a little while and so I kind of could have split up the three videos in a better fashion than I did, but yeah, I guess, you know, what am I gonna do? And right here, uh, this is like the only dark spot you can be in. If you move any closer into this corner, you'll get lit up. Which... Man, it seemed a little worse while I was practicing, but you know. Uh, stay right here and you're actually in darkness. And these guys are not in the position I want them to be in. So I'm really not sure what I should be doing right now. I think I'll try to shoot out this light and maybe see. Who did that? No, that doesn't distract them. Um, but yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to distract them. Because I need to get pack past this dark area. I'd move now, but man, that guy right, those guys to the left there, that's. And then that guy on the right! Man, I don't know what to do. Man, I'm really kind of screwed here at the moment. I'm just... I'll see what I can do to get my whistle to distract these guys. That's only going to distract that guy, though. But yeah, this part can actually be pretty uh, difficult, so I've got a guy there. Yeah, there. that's what I'm talking about. He's glitching out. Look at him. He's stuck right there, and he's just moving in that same animation back and forth. Oh, shit. I didn't know I was in the light. <laughs> okay, and so here we are again, and I will, I guess I'll show this part off until I actually get it, but uh, like usual, I will shoot out these three lights. Um, one of the times I tried practicing this, it made two of the other guards like appear here also, and then they got stuck in the bug I have been talking about, and man, that was like the easiest it's ever been to get past this part. But, um, okay, so one of the guys have moved, so I'm gonna see... Where is he? That's him right there. Oh man, it's really risky. I'm, you know, I'm almost wondering if I can just 
get past this. I wonder if I was maybe moving a little... Nope, they noticed me. Okay, so I'm going to actually use this to my advantage. And, um... See if maybe I can get past them. Which... I think I might... I did it. I did it. And so, you know, I, I do wish I could give you a more, like, uh, concrete walkthrough and more, you know, like, a more reliable way of getting through this. But, like I said, these guys kind of glitch out. And so you're kind of going to have to mess around with this section. Luckily, um, with uh, uh, the way I showed you of getting out of here after getting the... It's the ND-133, right? Yeah, the ND-133. And if you've been hearing any snoring, I don't know if you can or not, but that would be my dog. <laughs> so uh, if that picks up in the mic, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so um, like from when you collect the ND-133 and get to this point, uh, the strategy I showed you works every time, pretty much, if you do exactly as I do. So... Um, yeah, this part really becomes no problem since you'll get so many chances to practice it. Uh, but all you need to do is get into this core, uh, corridor here. You and Cohen can get out of there. Mission's complete. You think that smallpox is the real thing? I hope to God not. There's certainly been suggestions in Syrian intelligence that they've been developing agents. All we can do is let Bellagio do his job and hope. You think smallpox is the Springfield demonstration? I don't want to guess. Can you tell me now why I killed Dahlia? No, not yet. I know you're not happy about it, but preventative measures are never satisfying. Meet Cohen and get to Amityville. And that ends the Jerusalem mission. Um, uh, you know, you're probably wondering why you had to kill Dahlia, and he says he, you know, he'll, he'll not tell you now, but he actually never tells you. Um, but I will show you what happens if you choose not to kill Dahlia uh, right after this. Using devices stolen from Saulnier Cryogenics, the ND-133, Soth has made a Syrian-developed strain of the smallpox virus highly portable. Sedano is now in possession of an unknown number of easily concealed biological weapons. And, like I said, I will show you what happens if you choose not to kill Dahlia. Well, I guess you get to see her opening the elevator. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Fisher, we need Dahlia Tal dead. Kill her. Don't think, just do it. No. No. Damn it, Fisher. We needed her dead. Why? Shin Bet's not playing a straight game. It's not your job to question. I'm going to need a little more warning to shoot unarmed women. Are we aborting the mission? No, we can't. But you just dug yourself a deep pit to climb out of. Sign off, Brunton. We need to talk. Get the sample as soon as possible. You're in a fifth What's freedom that? situation. <laughs> All means are acceptable. So, uh, that's what they say. Uh, that's the different dialogue option if you, uh, choose not to kill her. Uh, the rest of the mission plays out normally until a certain part, and I'll show you exactly what that part is once we get to it. And then there is also a new, uh, new dialogue that appears after you collect the ND-133. We've got some bad intercepts, Fisher. You ever read the Chamberlain chapter of your history books? No need to act cute. Dahlia Tal is close and no doubt eager to repay your mercy. Shinbet wants the ND-133 and knows there's no official repercussions for killing somebody who doesn't officially exist. She's got sniper stats that could disprove Kennedy conspiracies, needless to say. Yeah, you said jump and I didn't. When I get back to the States, I'll sit facing the corner in a cone hat. And so, like normal, uh, right here we'll shoot out these three lights. But up here, if you remember last time, there were four 
uh, police officers, but if you chose not to kill Dahlia Tall, uh, those police officers will not be here, and instead there will be there will be four snipers. And if you could get a better resolution of these two, you would see that the one on the right is Dahlia Tall herself. So, I bet you are probably kicking yourself for not killing her if that's what you chose to do. And so, I don't believe there's really any way to get past this without them seeing you because... I'll show you where their positions are, and then I'll show you how difficult it is to get past them without them seeing you. Okay, so I took those two out. Now there's two there. So we still have two left, and there's one over there uh, up on those scaffolds, so we can uh, take them out. And then the fourth one is to the right over in this section. And, uh, man, I don't know if I'll be able to get over there with, uh, let's see. He's in a window area, but I don't know if I'll be able to get past him. But uh, I'll, uh, whether I die or not, I'll at least show you where he is so that you'll know. Uh, but as you can see, there's really, you know, even if you shoot out the lights, there is really no way... For you to get past all four of these snipers without them noticing. Uh, you can't shoot that light out. And, you know, those fires give off a lot of light. And there's really no way to get past this area without them seeing you. So I'm gonna... And yeah, he saw me. But he's up up a window up there. Uh, that's that's where that fourth sniper is and so he can be a little difficult to hit there there is probably I, I could have sniped him from over there but for the most part I just wanted to show you where these guys are and uh, just show you the you know what happened if you didn't choose to kill Dahlia but in the next episode we will make our way to Indonesia I will see you guys then and thanks for watching